All right, welcome back. It's 845, and it's hard to comprehend, but somehow snakes managed to survive the asteroid hit that killed the dinosaurs here on Earth tens of millions of years ago. And Dave of the Science Pro is here now to explain how they survived this post, I guess, apocalyptic world, right? Good morning. Maybe it's just the state we live in, but there just seems to be snakes everywhere. And I know for a lot of folks that I know, men and women alike, you just don't like them. You're kind of afraid of them, right? Yeah, they're icky. Blame the asteroid. It's the asteroid's fault. 66 million years ago, an asteroid landed, we know this, in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, inevitably and eventually taking out all the dinosaurs. So here's the thing. Back then, there weren't very many snakes on Earth. There weren't because of all the predators, all the different dinosaurs, all the other different types of crazy weird animals no. that lived 66 million years ago. So these snakes were not allowed to thrive. There were very few of them. Then the asteroid hits, okay? And what happens? All these animals become extinct. Well, you've got to understand something about snakes. They don't need to eat a lot. So a lot of what few snakes there were back in the world at that time went underground, okay? Mm -hmm. Maybe they found a rodent here or there, but some of them didn't eat for perhaps as long as a year. At they a can time. survive that long and by that, food? Yeah, absolutely they can. And by that time, once the dust settled, for lack of a better term, and the sun came back out and started to thrive, all of a sudden the snakes came back out and they said, hey, there's no predators around. So they started to thrive. They started to migrate from continent to continent, and they started to evolve into the types of snakes that we see today. Now, there are over 4,000 species of snakes that evolved as a result of that asteroid. So did, if you, yeah, go ahead, Laura. Did they look? Did they look like the snakes we see? That's a, honestly that and it, that I do not know the answer to that. But we didn't have these types of snakes that you see now. That you know the some of these uh, rattlesnakes and this and that. Those were developed over millions of years, and obviously as a as for. You know, for them to have a defense mechanism, we've got all these different types of venomous snakes now. But back then, they wouldn't last very long before they got eaten up by some type of small dinosaur or whatever, or something along those lines. But when they all, 75% of all the species on Earth died when that asteroid hit. I mean, over the course of years, it wasn't all instantaneous. Right. Um, so, but again, it's all about survival of the fittest. And if you think about it, if you didn't need to eat for six months right. to a year at a time and you could shelter yourself, right, you would be able to survive this setup too. And they did, and now they thrive as a result of it. There are diff 50 different snake species that live in the United States as a result, indirectly, to this asteroid. And it's in these periods of uh, right after major extinctions, that evolution cranks up. Things that weren't able to survive or not allowed to survive as readily are all of a sudden wow. readily able to after mass extinctions. But snakes are critically important to the health of ecosystems, to keeping prey in check, and helping humans by collecting pests. So yeah. they're there for a reason, and they are here as many as they are as a result of what happened 65, 66 million years ago. I'm sorry, so, I don't mean to take you back to the beginning where I learned something, but I didn't realize that the Gulf of Mexico was the point of contact. For yeah, the it was right off the Yucatan Peninsula. Okay, it was right no off the idea. Yucatan Peninsula. And I'm sure anything within a several hundred mile radius was instantaneously right. killed. But what happened is all that dust and debris came all the way up, probably blocked the sun out for years. Yes. So the plants would die, right? What happens when the plants die? Every, right. All the animals that eat the plants will die, and all the animals that eat the animals will die. And it's just a chain reaction. But yet here the you go survived. with these snakes that got down in these caverns and undergrounds, and they just kind of waited it out. Snake survivor. All right. Yeah. Dave, thank you. Yep. Dave.